Yetta, do you love yourself? That sounds selfish. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. We are honored that we've created for you free access to over 653 Life's Inside Track episodes where we share insider tips, making house home, and really how to build wealth wisely through real estate. And the great news is you can get access to them from home, from the office, or on the go, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Decker Team YouTube channel, if you haven't, so you can get access to them sooner, quicker, faster. Mm -hmm. We're going to explore that you either get to choose friendship with others or perish because we were made for relationship. Hmm. I guess that's why people without a deep relationship tend to live less long. Less long? Less yeah. long, yeah. Less long, okay. <laughs> it, well, there's some truth to that, right? So in Matthew twenty-two thirty-nine, 39, God actually said, well, Jesus said, he was asked, what are the two most important Mm -hmm. Or what are the most important commandments? Yes. And he said, the first one is love your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Mm -hmm. And the second one is like it. Mm -hmm. And that is love your neighbor as yourself. Right. That sounds like he's telling us we're meant to have a vertical relationship and a horizontal relationship. Mm -hmm. And that a relationship with him alone isn't all he's called us to. Right. So all the other commandments, if you do those two, you won't do the other eight. Like you'll follow them automatically, right? So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And it was his idea, not mine. So it isn't selfish to love you, myself. Yes. Because if you don't love yourself very much, then you're not going to love your neighbor very much. Yeah. Because it says love your neighbor as thyself. Right. There was a season in my life where I definitely – didn't like myself too much. Mm -hmm. And I ended up doing a week long or thereabouts um, prayer counseling retreat with a couple of counselors. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing that I got out of that time together it was very intense two counselors in Yetta. That for was for a week. Yeah. Do you remember? Oh, I sent you away for it. I remember. And I, I wasn't wanted, there, thank I know. I wanted goodness. you to go, too. But <laughs> they've since retired, now. retired so he's off the hook. I think it's sad that he didn't get to go. And yet the biggest thing I got out of that time, single biggest thing, and they'd actually written a book, Jerry and Denise Basil. They had written a book called Love Your Neighbor as Yourself, The Missing Commandment. Great mm. book. And what it spoke to was that when we don't get the second half of that, peace, mm -hmm. love your neighbor as yourself, you don't actually love your neighbor as well. Mm -hmm. So once I came into agreement with God, which took that week, and then I've been continuing to live it out ever since, mm -hmm. but it really was a big deal for me. It was one of those probably top 10 defining moments in my life, coming into agreement with God that I'm not trash, I'm not dirt, I'm not worthless, I'm not all those things that I had decided I must be because I'd made so many mistakes because mm -hmm. I hadn't gotten it right. So even though I came to faith over 30 years ago, I still thought I was less than and not enough. Yeah, and it's interesting because you had a lower opinion of yourself. You didn't love yourself not very much. much. No. And I love myself probably a little too much, even though I had flaws and whatever. And so, what do you say about us two? Well, we're both delusional. We were both. We Not were now. both we're, delusional. We've equalized. We've, come, uh, we've equalized it out, right? Yeah. And, yeah. and yet, that's God's directive for us. So, he wants us to be in great relationship with each other. And it's hard to do that unless we are in great relationship with him first mm -hmm. and then with ourselves as well. So, we have that vertical relationship with God and a horizontal relationship with each other and our neighbor. Because in our first segment, we talked about really a, a spousal or a deep family connection. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about neighbor so, what is the definition of neighbor? Is that just the person on either side of us and across the street? I don't think so. I think it's any human on the planet, actually, that we have interaction with, whether online or in person. 
So that's it a could, big, broad that's, definition that's of billions of people. Uh, I get it. Well, no, I don't know them all. Oh, okay. Right? Just so ones I think, you interact with? Well, I think so. So like, would that be people at work and could school be. or social clubs or mm -hmm. sports clubs? I would call them all my neighbor. Right. Okay. What would you say? I think I think it's true. I think whether they're across the street or across the city or in a different city, mm -hmm. if I interact with them, they're my neighbor, and I care, I need to care for them. And probably even if I don't interact with them, yeah, I'm yeah, called as I was saying to that, care I wondered. for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just be good to other humans because we're on this journey together, and we're our our experiences, as much as they're very different, are more alike than they are different. So if you're human, you're my neighbor. That's what you're saying. I think so. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're thinking, I want to get connected with some more great neighbors locally, then you might want to join us at the Building Wealth Wisely Workshop, September 25th. And all you have to do is go to our website, DeckerTeam.com. And the great news is it's only $47 for a family. And family means anybody from about 15, 16 years old and older can attend as a family group but you do want to register because there is limited space mm -hmm. and it's the first time we've done a workshop like this in many many years and it's live in the room it's not online at all so connect no with virtual. your neighbor is what you're saying that's and that's interesting saying. because we consider our clients our neighbor as well mm -hmm. so we love our clients right oh yeah. What do you mean? Right. Mm -hmm. That's like a given in my mind. Right. And our client is our neighbor. Mm -hmm. And we end up developing usually pretty intimate relationship during the course of either buying, selling or investing in real estate. And right. I've often found it hard. And some of our clients have told us the same thing. They find it hard when the intense part of the journey is over. Where we're, we're frequently connecting and then suddenly we're infrequently or not at all connecting. Right. That and, it and that's why we developed the Decker Team Family Gathering. Yeah. So we can come together several times a year, whether to have a shared experience, build some memories, have some fun, mm -hmm. and create some relationship. Yeah, it really works. Because, you know, sometimes we, we hear about a community and we say, how's the community? How's the neighborhood? Oh, it's great. We get together. We have street parties. We have backyard parties. We, we get together. We do different things. That's because they're creating a community and loving each other, mm -hmm. right? And supporting one another. Same thing with coming out to our family event. We call it a family celebration or family Decker Team Family Gathering, mm -hmm. if you want the official title. Right. But it really doesn't matter what you call it. The point is, it's a place of belonging. It's a place of having a good time together and growing together as well as laughing together. Yeah, and hearing each other's stories and mm -hmm. journey and dreams and, you know, aspirations and what, what they're struggling mm -hmm. with and how we may be able to help them or somebody they know. And it's, it's just a rich time of connection. Yeah, and is it worth the time? I think it's worth the time to invest in other relationships because God mandated it. Mm. Yeah, being in a relationship requires time, attention, actions, mm. words, and it's just important. That's the only way that you can come to a line, mm. right? So love for yourself sets mm. the standard for love yeah. of others that's on by somebody who's unknown right and together we're, we're here providing options because when your options are clear your this your wisdom will flow moving forward with the decker team moving forward